What's up guys and gals, hope you're having a wonderful day, hope everything's going your way. It's kind of blue skies, a little bit of sun, got some clouds out in the distance. Anyways, this is a special video. Um, let me, dude, this is dirty. I need to get a Kleenex or something and wipe off that screen. Sorry. I have something special to show you today. Uh, I want to show you, this is the, hold on. This is a 2017 Nissan 370Z Sport Tech Edition. And I'm, and I'm super clean, Woo. no bow tie, Woo. thousand bitches on my dick, and I know why, we're a robot, and I know no, forget one hoe, I'm trying to fuck the hoe, man, I'm overwhelmed with these options, these bitches choosing can't stop it, got a thick bitch and she drop it, the hell lip gloss and it's popping, man, they all over my diamonds, what it is bro, I can't call it, say she got a man and all this shit, but she like the fact that I'm ballin', man, I'm in and out of that bin shop, they warming up, but I been hot, got a bad bitch and she been down, she can't come if her friends not. Nah. It's going down when I land in the Got an ounce of the drove, out to the hoes. Real Feel. superstar, put it down, I'm a show. You ain't know Feel you need counseling. I'm having bitches on my dick. Yeah, they call me filthy wrist. Yellow diamonds in my shit. Got it looking like this. Man, these niggas can't stand me. High nigga, right hand. Start the call with my left, but a nigga, right hand. Now, you got, let me just explain a few things. So, with the sport, you got the upgraded brakes. Um, 300. And sorry, someone's looking. 332 horsepower. That's 270 pounds of torque. So with the sport, you get the daytime running lights. Um, you also get the spoiler right here. There's not a whole lot that's added in. So you got the base, sport. Now, now you can add tech onto anything. Tech is, I'll show you in a minute. It's what's on the inside. So you got sport, touring, which is basically cosmetics. Then you got your Nismo. And then the highest trim is the Nismo with the tech, obviously. But tech package can go with any trim. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what trim. So, but yeah, you got your, your 19 inch rims. You got your, your basic key. Hold on, where is it at? And this is with all of them. The key is the same with all of them also. It's the same with every uh, Nissan for that instance. Um, if I can find it, crap. Now, hold, here's the cool thing. If you lock it inside, it doesn't matter because you don't you don't really need, it doesn't matter. You can't lock yourself out, basically. So, here's your standard key. So, just having it on me, you can lock it. If you press the button, it will automatically lock, which is definitely, um, definitely pretty neat you know it's a nice feature so if it is inside all you have to do is press the button which is totally legit um, so that way you will never like lock yourself out again so with the sport uh, you so it's a, it's a six-speed manual transmission 0 to 65.1 um, you got your Bose audio system now here's the thing here's the thing let me explain this if you get the sport pad with the 2017 they've changed this with the 2017 the bows now come with the sport, okay? Before you had to get the touring. You got the touring, you got the leather seats, the power seats, um, heated seats. That's what the touring was, all cosmetics and then also the, 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 the uh, Bose audio system. Uh, the sport now comes with them, with the 2017, that's new. It wasn't like that with previous, uh, with previous ones. Dude, why is this all scratch? Yeah, this is a 2017, I bought it at 20 miles. So far, I put on 166. Anyways, so you got, let's just hop on in here. You got your tech. So this is a tech. Um, if you didn't get a tech, it'd just be a little cubby. Pretty stupid, pretty retarded. Um, so you got your status, which shows, um, you know, uh, distance to until you're out of fuel. You got your, this is what I average, 13.8. And this, this is what I, that's like live, what I'm currently getting that's live. Which I've been getting 30, but I goose it so much that I, it averages out at 13.8. But yeah, so I've been getting 30. And you know, even if you goose it just kind of here and there, you can still average about 20, 25. So that's not bad. And it says, you know, it says in specs that you get 19 to 26. That's actually incorrect. That's not correct at all. Um, so you got, you know, it's push to start, which actually a lot of cars do come with that, push to start. 
you hold down the clutch because it's a manual transmission, if it was an automatic, you would actually have keyless start. Actually, I think I think so. I don't know. I've never looked. I don't know anything about the automatics. I've never looked into them. Then you got, you know, your oil pressure gauge, pretty standard. You got your, um, you got your your voltage, which is also pretty standard. You got your time. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of Z owners, they complain about how it's very outdated on the inside. This this may be true, but I mean. To be honest, the car is not for luxury. It's it's a sports car, you know. It's not. Anyways, yeah. So then you got this is another thing Z owners complain about is how they didn't put anything here. They should have put like another cup holder or phone holder or something. Um, it is. I agree. It's pretty lame that they put this like blank blank buttons here. But I mean, if you were to modify, you could always put something here, you know. Because I'm sure these do pop out. I don't know for sure. Then you got, you know, your emergency flashes right here. You got sports mode. Now, if you don't know what sports mode is, uh, Nissan was actually the first one to come out with sports mode. And it's basically rev matching. So it's, uh, if you downshift or whatever, like, for instance, I'm a class A, you know, driver. And if you downshift, you have to match your revs or whatever. Basically, it, it, it matches it for you. It analyzes before you actually shift and it, it knows where it needs to where the rpms need to be and it, it does the revving for you so pretty pretty neat um definitely definitely cool anyway so you on the nav you know you got um you can hook your phone up to bluetooth which isn't working for me you got your lighting um you got uh you got uh, navigation which i haven't messed with at all and i probably never will um what else and then you got your climate control right here and then right up here you got your lighting for your gauges with how much you've driven then you got your standard um, it's different it's unique people don't like it but you got your your fuel gauge and then below that you got your temperature gauge um, and then this is where all the warnings would be right here that's where all the warnings would be from here on all my videos basically all my videos every single one of them are going to be about my car and not so much racing but probably a lot of racing um, but what I want to do is I want to race every type of car even cars that aren't race cars or meant to speed meant for speed I want to race everything just to have it on there because I mean yes you can look at you can look at numbers and you can look at paper and whatnot for like you know zero to 60 times and whatnot but the thing is is it's cool to just visualize it and see it. And so that's what I want to do. I want to actually see it. Here, so even if you have if you have the key on you, all you do is press this button, which I do have the key on me. Press this button. Okay, it's not working. That's not good. 2017 is not working. You got your badges right here. They light up as turn signals, four-way flashers, everything else. Like I said, you got your daytime running lights. I don't know why it's not open. That really concerns me. Damn it. That did it. I don't know why I did it. Alright, let me. So, yeah, you just get your cloth seats. They're nice, they're okay. You got the back right there. Not a lot of room. Got a little cubbies right there and right there. Um, you might be able to fit maybe two small bags in there, maybe one big one. How in the world did this happen? Hold on. Okay, I gotta be really bad. 
We'll come in from the passenger side. Like I said, it's a six speed manual transmission. You got your little, little cubby right here, that's cool. Put some stuff in there, it's soft touch, really nice, super soft. And then, you know, that's it. That's it, that's the Z guys. That's my 2017 Nissan 370Z Sport Tech Package. Now, let me tell you the difference between the 350 and the 370. Some people can't tell. There are a couple differences. The body is a little bit different. A little bit different for sure. But then the, the biggest thing to look for is the front and back. So you got the boomerang lights in the back. And you got them in the front. 